Also under the Play tab and the Setup group is the Mixer Controls. So you can get to it by selecting the shortcut M on the QWERTY keys or by pressing this button here. This gives you a view of the mixer and you've got all your tracks available here and let's talk about these vertical buttons on the left hand side. First is your CPU button that tells you the approximate CPU load. The next button is the height button. It gives you four different vertical heights. So this is the most minimal view which just shows your faders. If you click on it once you also get pans solos and mute buttons so if you hit playback you can see that we could solo the oboe or solo the temp or any other item we can also adjust its pan position if we click the vertical tab again you can see that it shows the actual channel that's being used as well as the engine and what instrument is being played so you could go in here and change an instrument if you chose as well. Lastly, it gives you your send configurations. Right now, most everything is sent, being sent to the reverb. And this is where you can adjust how much is being sent to the reverb unit. Below that is the Show Hide Master Fader volume. So this allows you to adjust the overall volume of all of the tracks in your particular song. And you can show or hide that master fader. This one shows and hides all of the staves in your project. So if you turn this off, you can see it's hidden all of the individual tracks. This one hides all of the individual groups. Let me explain that. Each instrument is grouped into a family. So violin, one, two, viola, cello, and basses are all part of the string family. So you have a group here, and you can adjust all of the members of that group by using the group fader. You could also mute all of those tracks that are contained in that group, etc. So it gives you one access point to deal with all of the individual tracks that are contained within a group. Down here is the Show Hide Virtual Instrument. In this case, we're using a Sibelius player and not Contact or some other external instrument. And so it's just going to show or hide that one. And then this button shows or hides the effects. So you can adjust your pans, your solos, your mutes, individual volumes, all kinds of things here, as well as show and hide some of those parameters within the mix window itself.